Hi, this is Matt with Learn About Law, and today we're delving into Iowa Restraining Order Law updates. But before we dive into the changes, let's get down to the basics. Knowing your rights is crucial, whether you're seeking a restraining order or find yourself named in one. So let's break it down. In Iowa, no contact orders come into play in two main scenarios. In the aftermath of a criminal charge between two parties, or when one seeks a civil no-contact order against the other. It's a legal tool designed for protection, but it's essential to use it appropriately. For criminal no-contact orders, the court usually issues them in cases involving serious charges like domestic abuse, assault, or harassment. What does it mean for the defendant? Absolutely no contact with the victim, their residents, or immediate family. In domestic violence cases, the defendant must also surrender firearms, offensive weapons, and ammunition. Curious about what constitutes domestic violence in Iowa? It includes violence between family or household members, divorced or separated spouses, those with children together, and individuals in or recently in an intimate relationship. Questions about Iowa restraining order law? Throw it in the comments and we'll do our best to answer. Show us some love with a like if you find this information helpful, and check the description for ways to contact us. Now, defendants have the right to contest the conditions of a no-contact order and request modifications or termination, but these orders usually stay in effect until the case is decided. For victims, being proactive is crucial. Report any violation of the no-contact order immediately. Photos, videos, and witness testimonies are key evidence to ensure that violations are punishable by the court. What happens after a violation? The defendant may face arrest and be brought before a magistrate to decide on release conditions, bail, or holding until trial. If found guilty, there is a minimum jail sentence and potential fines. Civil no-contact orders are a different ballgame. They don't hinge on a criminal charge and can address issues like child visitation, shared property, and even custody of shared animals. Enforcing these orders falls directly on the victim, who might need to seek private legal assistance. If you are facing a situation involving a no-contact order, remember you're not alone. Our experienced attorneys are here to guide you. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comment section and subscribe for more legal news daily.